Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad and welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy. And just like in Super Mario Sunshine and Super Mario 64, Mario falls asleep after a little while. So let's wake up and let's go into a new galaxy since we can now. Let's go to Honey Hive Galaxy. Be Mario takes flight. So here we are in a very cool level, and also, if we look over this way, we can see an M for Mario, made out of Star Wars over there, and there's also a 1-up over here that we can grab, so let's go ahead and grab that, if I can, carefully. There is a little platform there, so, there we go. And let's read the sign. Press down the right stick to look around and see the sights. If you can't, you'll hear a buzz. Well, we can hear, apparently, so... And that buzz down there is what ha happens when you can't. Oh, press up on the right stick, okay. But yeah, we can look around just like this all over the place. It's pretty useful. Just looking around at things. But anyway, there's also some bees that we can talk to. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the Honey the Hive, hive, kingdom. hive kingdom. Our kingdom. Our queen rules this land. Okay, cool. Thanks for telling me. I feel like that's you're telling me that in a threatening way, but your voice was a little bit... You know, bee-like, I guess. New bees must greet Her Highness, Queen Bee. Okay. Let's take out this prior plant. The castle is straight through here. We can also spin these prior plants if we want to. You want to fly high? Yes, I do, actually. Now that you mention it. Oh, come on, don't change the camera just as I'm trying to shoot. Do you have anything to say, sir? I'm practicing not falling in water. It's going great. That's what you say, right? It's going okay. I was close. Anyway, let's make our way up from here so we can actually see what's up here. More rolling rocks that just keep spawning. Uh, there's also a swing here that we can jump into and then... Use the control stick to swing back and forth. Jump off to get some good height and distance. There we go. It's so nice being able to just use the Y button to spin. I would definitely recommend doing that. Looks like we have a new enemy here that we can take care of as well, which we need to spin first and then do the same as what we normally do. This isn't the way to the castle, you know. I know. And that red and blue outfit is so tacky. Wow, you're just judging me now? Says you're a bee judging my colors. You're a bee judging my. Every single bee is wearing the exact same thing, but you you call you think okay, maybe it's because I'm different colors. That's it's probably because I'm not yellow and black that it doesn't like my colors. See that area behind the behind the waterfall? That's our queen's castle. Okay. Well, I'm going to grab this coin, which makes a special mushroom mushroom appear. So, let's go grab that. I'm just going to fall down here if I can. And let's grab this bee mushroom. You transformed into bee, Mario. Hold B to buzz around. So, whenever you hold down the jump dust button, you can make yourself float up. But if you run out of fly, that's what I'm going to go with. You have to fall down to the ground again, slowly. So you can try to make it last longer if you want to go for distance by just pressing for the small amounts of time. Or you can just hold it up, hold it all the way down for a long amount of time to get nice and high. As be Mario, if you touch water, you lose your power up, so you have to be careful of that. And also, uh... Backflips don't really work very well, but it's good for launching up, so you have a little bit of extra height, I guess. Anyway, let's take out these enemies. We can still spin, but not very efficiently. It's not as good as, as, as 
Ah, words. Spinning as a bee is not as good as it was before. So. Oh, there's also a one-up just behind this little hole that we're going to jump into. In a second, let me talk to these bees. This hole leads to the Queen's Castle. See that? It's our castle. Okay. Cool, I'm going to jump in here now. Onto this slide. Oh, slide, slide. And now let's grab this bee mushroom again from that crystal. It respawns there, so that's good to know. The castle is past this wall, it's true. Bees never lie. Oh cool, just in case I ever need some info, I'll talk to a bee because they never lie. <laughs> also, as bee Mario, you can stand on these flowers, but as regular Mario, you're too heavy, so... Bee Mario is pretty cool like that. There's also this honey that works kind of like... Um, mud, so you have to be careful of that. Ah, uh, this, this honey is so heavy. That was, that's what he said, right? Honey is heavy, I guess. Press and hold B to fly. I know. Anyway, let's grab all this and let's use this launch star. Okay. Well, it's a good thing we're a B because now we have to go across this water area without touching the water, obviously. I'm gonna take out you. Oh, I lost my power up. That's fine. Gonna get some more stuff. I don't think I've played this casually and it's concerning me. Now let's take out you. And we're kinda gonna need the B power up throughout this whole area, so try not to lose that again. Grab a flower stem and shake. Your Joy-Con or press Y for a boost. Just say spin. Anyway, if we spin up this flower, it launches us up here. And if we weren't at B, we would fall off this flower very quickly. So, let's fly from flower to flower, avoiding this water. And let's go up here. So we can get to this launch star. Getting close to the castle now. I guess this is technically the castle. But anyway, I believe this thing here, if we activate that, gives us a vine. And back here is a bee mushroom if we run out. But also we have to fly across this bit here without falling into that black hole to get back to where we need to be. So be careful while doing that. One of the perks of being a bee is that we can stick on this honey wall. So you need your bee power for this. Grab on and climb up here. It's a blast, no joke. So now, because we are a bee, we can climb on this wall. We can't do this as regular Mario, so... We can also fly to keep getting higher when, we, when the honey doesn't connect, which is good. So let's go up, I guess. Probably don't want to spend too much time here. The gravity is on our side as well, apparently. Now, up here, if we get rid of you, we get a vine taking us all the way up to the top. And who might you be? A physician, we presume. No matter, we are in the most vexing predicament and require assistance. The most furious itchiness plagues our entire being. It must be stopped. Please find the source at once. Okay, I'll do that. We need the B power up for this again, I'm pretty sure. And we need to get right up close to her and grab on because we are going to climb over around to try and get these star launch star fragments. So there we go. My thanks. You have been shown you have shown s m much bravery, newbie. We must trust that we may rely on you in the future. Okay, let's go over to the launch start and let's keep going. Except we're going back to the first area now, but in a different place, which is good. How are we ever gonna get back? Glad to see you're okay. Hello, Mario! 
Ah, a bee! What? Mario? Hey, it's you! We escaped from Pe Peach's castle too! But then we thought Bowser would get us, and then we got lost with Luigi. Oh, I just remembered. We found a power star. I'm sure you need this. So here, take it. And this was the game that Captain Toad originated from. So this is this is Captain Toad. Say hello. And he will, he's 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 really grown over the years. Anyway, let's grab this power star. Mario, your name is Mario, isn't it? That is what I've heard from your friends who just arrived. Mario, it has such a nice ring. Your friends are waiting for you in the garage. I think they want to tell you something, so you'd best hurry on over there. We can also explore the Comet Observatory a little bit more than this. There's a lot of dark areas that we can't do anything until we have more Grand Stars. But we haven't got any more Grand Stars since the first one we got at the very beginning, so we're gonna have to wait a little bit longer. Uh, but if you want some more 1-ups and lives, you can actually go back here. And every time you reload the area... I actually know, apparently not. Probably not at the moment is actually the correct answer to that. But there will be one there eventually, so just keep that in mind. Also, this ground looks very dirty. Anyway, let's go over this way. And if we go over here, we have this transparent launch star, which is green. And there are toads also here. Howdy, Mario! If you're looking for everybody, they're back this way. Where are we? I want to go home. I'm so homesick. Garage. For your one-stop shop for intergalactic starship repairs. Oh, good. You're not gonna talk to me. So I guess this place is some kind of mobile observatory controlled by that Rosalina lady. But who exactly is she, anyway? She's not a witch. Is she? Is she? No, that's too... that's ridiculous, right? Hello, Captain Toad. Mario, somehow you... we made it... Uh, made it too. We'll help you get the Power Stars and save Princess Peach. You can count on us, Mario. We're all in this together. Leave it to us. Okay. Well, I'm gonna grab this one-up that respawns every time we come past here. This ship is full of toads. Oh, good. Just what we need. It's toads flying through space. We're building a starship. Toads don't need this much power. <laughs> it's, it's, it's too much power. It's too much power. Anyway. If you need a rest, press plus. Choose quit to save your progress and take a rest. If you need to check the controls, press minus. You can review the basic controls and special actions there. We can't uh, save and quit in the middle of the level. But well, we can save and quit while we're at the observatory to keep our progress, so. And exit the game as well. Also, I just recommend, like, for any game on the Switch ever, just... Just home button and then keep the game running. As a pause. While you're not playing, I guess. Unless you can't do that, just save in a good spot. Anyway, I guess we should go back to Honey Hive Galaxy again so we get another look at that. Trouble on the tower. We didn't see everything we could while we were here last time. That rock just fell from the sky. It was scary. 
And anything with this icon on it, this little, like, I don't know, Im impact symbol on it, means if we ground pound on it by jumping and then pressing ZL, we can break it basically, or do different types of things on it depending on what it is, but these ones we can break, so. This one has a vine underneath it that we can take all the way over here. Also, if you stop spinning on a vine, it will take you back down as well, which is useful to know. This spring here, which has the the icon on it, means we can spring up by ground pounding. And I think this bee here was going to tell me how to ground pound or not. Practicing my bomb, bomb, dive, but di dive bomb. That one. Not bomb dive, but dive bomb. Anyway, let's go ahead and break this as well. These will usually just have uh, star bits in them for us. Okay. Oh my goodness, camera. Okay, let's go up here. And this wriggler up here, if we ground pound near it or jump on it, it will get back up after being ground pounded nearby and become angry and run around more. Um, but if we jump on it while it's upside down, we actually we actually kill it and get some star bits, so. You don't always get star bits by jumping, no, don't, you don't always get coins by jumping onto an enemy, so sometimes you will get uh, star bits from doing that. Anyway, this switch has the ground pound impact icon on it, so let's ground pound and get up this way. Also, that sign came out of the ground. Just want to point that out. Yep, it's me, the famous bi Gilboard. If you want to climb this wall, you'd better listen up. When you stick to the wall after a, a jump, press B to do a wall kick. Use a string of wall kicks to reach really high areas. So yeah, we can wall jump, like as previously mentioned. Also, backflips are also useful. Anyway, we've got 50 over 50 star bits, so we got an extra life. It's so nice being able to point at the screen and explain things. Okay, let's go up here. Oh, that's a lot of star bits right there. I don't think I can grab them. Oh, most of them. Some of them. Okay, let's ow, take damage, apparently. Let's go across here. We can jump between these two bits of gravity, which is cool. Also, long jumping off of a an edge of gravity is also a bit strange because it pulls you back in. But anyway, let's hit that. Oh, which gives us a a rainbow star. You transformed into Rainbow Mario. You're invincible. This is basically just invincibility, which means you can run into enemies to kill them. And it's cool because as you run, you go faster and leave a trail of shadow, like, I don't even know what to call them rainbow colored shadows behind you, which is cool. I love it so much. Anyway, now we're up very high on the level. We can actually get a few more things while we're here, so. Those mini, um, Mandy bugs have taken over our observation deck. Oh, they make me so mad. Okay, well, we'll take care of it for you. We will kill it. I mean, it's not like bad to kill anything in this universe, is it? Anyway, we have to ground pound them to kill these new enemies because they have the impact icon on them. Ow! Oh, pain. Oh, very pain. Very, very pain. Oh, he doesn't go very far. Anyway, if we grab this uh, super mushroom, your health screw to six. If it drops below four, it will return to normal. So now, if we take damage, because we've got six life, if we take damage, we... Uh, lose health, obviously, but we have five health remaining since we had six. If we get another coin, it will reheal to six. But if we drop to back to three, then it will just be the maximum will be three again. Uh, you can't stack super mushrooms to get more life. You only get the up to six maximum. Okay, let's hit this switch here. Activating the windmill. And that should be a great platform to get up now. Just need to get there and wait for it to actually be ready for us. Ok, 
Okay, and now we have kind of a boss, if not really a boss. Also, if you ground pound and then sp no, if you spin and then immediately ground pound, your ground pound becomes like a homing ground pound, which is also very useful for taking out these enemies. So if you need to hit something nearby with a spin ground pound, you can do that, and it's very cool. We have new galaxy. Let's save, and maybe we'll take a look at that new galaxy. So, this question mark block, if we open it, I believe that these are usually sometimes just a one star galaxy. We can see how many stars a galaxy will have uh, by based on the shadows and stars that we already have. Sometimes there'll be a lot more than actually shown. But sometimes it's just very few stars in that level. So let's go to loop de scroop <laughs> loop de loop galaxy. And let's do surfing 101. And also there are penguins here. Around here, we surf on rays. I'm so I'm serious, we call it ray surfing. That's what we do. Hey! This is Penguin Paradise. Come on, please. Please let me talk to you. Ray surfing isn't so easy, so listen to what the co what coach has to say. That cute little guy over there is Ray. Are you a surfer too? Yes, I am. Oh, but this is your first time Ray surfing, right? Well then, let me show you the ropes. Now let me explain. Try matching uh, the guide on the bottom right. So we need to hold our uh, a right Joy-Con flat forward. Yeah, that's the basic position. To return, or to turn left, twist left from that starting position. So now we have to twist, turn left to turn left. Correct, that's how you turn left. To turn right, you've got to twist to the right. So this, enti this is entirely motion contr controls. Yep, that's how you turn right. Then all you need to do is hold down B to speed up. That's all you need to know. Now give it a go on the course. B to speed up, I guess. Which means we can actually... I think it's actually more of an accelerator than a go forward kind of thing. But yeah, we need to do this entire thing with motion controls. We can actually put down a left Joy-Con. I'm not sure if this is... I don't think I would say this is easier if you are playing in handheld mode. I'd still probably do it like this. Good luck! Oh, I'm gonna need it because this is actually a fairly difficult thing to control. Because of motion controls, obviously. And if you over... Um... Oh, what's the word when you're trying to fix something? If you try to compensate too much to the other direction so you turn a little bit more the way you want. You can sometimes fall off by overcompensating. So yeah, be careful of that. Oh, turn, turn, turn. Not too much, turn. But yeah, we need to beat the time, which is a minute and 30 seconds. So let's see if we can do that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm just holding down the acceleration right now, but that's probably not the way that you want to play. 
probably want to be a little bit more careful. You can turn kind of tighter corners by slowing down a little bit. But there we go. Just over a minute, which is a lot less than a minute 30, which is good. And there we go. One minute, two seconds, 56 milliseconds. Congratulations! You deserve a gold medal. And because we beat the time, we get a power star. Which is going to be on the podium in first place, of course, probably. Right? Yeah, it is. So there we go. Let's go ahead and grab that then. And that's all of the stars in that galaxy for now. Galaxy complete. That means that then... Okay, there are no extra stars in that galaxy. If it has a crown next to it and says galaxy... Like, uh, hang on. If this if this message comes up saying galaxy complete, that means you have every single star in that level. And now, if I can quickly go back in to the level select. If we go over, it, over to it now, you can see there's a crown next to its name, which means you've completed the level, basically. So that's what we need to keep an eye on, so I think now let's probably head back to Good Egg Galaxy. Since there's still another star we can get there. King Caliente's Battle Fleet. I like King Caliente, but we'll actually need to get to him first, and actually have a bit more of ex an ex ah, a bit more of an idea, I guess, an explanation of what it he actually is. So let's take care of these things. So we need to get to the launch star up there. Uh, this door has also got a sign on it. Gone for a long time. Need to get in. Use the pipe on the other side. Okay. Well, anyway, we can also. Um, hang on. Uh, we can also, uh, wall jump, spin, jump, spin, to try and get up here. Oh please, oh please, thank you. So we can actually just skip the pipe entirely, so. It's not much of a skip, but it means we can get up here a lot faster and actually do things better. So anyway, let's go to some new planets. And probably save this toad, since it's stuck in this crystal. Whoa, you saved me, thanks, Mario, in return. Uh... Let me tell you a secret about this place. Those spiky things seem to hate coconuts. Shake or press Y to spin and smack them with some. So we need to hit these spiky things with coconuts, I guess, to kill them. Particularly this one, which has a sling star in it for us, so let's do that. Now. Let's have another look around, because we need to take out this Pokey here, with a coconut. Do that, and now we jump onto it, to kill it, and we get a launch star. So let's go. Now we have a Sling Star here, but I don't know if I want to do that. If you have two players, you can kill these Chain Chomp things, which are just boulders, basically. By having one of them be frozen and have the other crash into it. If we go into this pipe, we have some Goombas in here, and also a special coin, which gives us a Rainbow Star. Which, if I can kill these Goombas fast enough, is actually interesting, because if we get outside of this pipe, and run into these Chain Chomps, that's another way to kill them without having two players. There's usually stuff like that that makes it easier for you to actually get rid of Chain Chomps. But anyway, let's keep going for now. Two players was not in the original Super Mario Galaxy, but it was in Super Mario Galaxy 2. Anyway, let's just get past all this. And let's get up there. These bullet bills that are being shot at us are homing, so you have to be careful about those. But for now, let's launch Star up here, and we're getting very close to where we need to be now, since we can actually see it. And the music's changed as well. 
Saved you. Your attacks won't reach those mean looking aliens. But here's a great idea. What if you tried to bounce something back at them? So if we spin into these coconuts, and not the flaming ones, they're just the regular green ones. Come on. Spin. Nope. Dodge the flaming ones. We can send them right back into them. Oh my goodness, if I'm not bad. Which kills them, so there we go. Now I believe there's actually a few more things on the ship we can look at. There's definitely coins if we need them. Uh, but we don't. I feel like there is something else though on here. Possibly not, but it's probably not worth it either way. So anyway, let's just keep moving. And go this way. And it looks like if we go all the way up here, there's another launch star for us. So let's go. Be careful, there's a big, big danger up ahead. If things get really bad, shoot a star bit at one of these, those lights on the ground. Then a coin will pop out. Grab it to replenish some of your life. Will do. Meet King Caliente. Kind of similar to the things we've been seeing around the world. You need to be careful of his fire shots though. But obviously, if he shoots a coconut, we can send it right back into him. But this is not just going to be that simple. Because... Oh, after a bit, we're going to start playing tennis. Which is a little bit diff difficult on this slope. Because you're going to slide off of it. So, you probably want to be in a good position to be able to dodge things. Also, these blue fire things are bad. If you couldn't tell. The fire and lava kind of works the same way as it does in Super Mario 64. Where if you land on fire or lava, you bounce out of it on fire. Anyway, there's the power star, but first I'm going to go get some more star bits since we're going to need a lot of star bits later on. And I mean a lot of star bits. I'm not sure if we're going to have to spend time grinding for them, but we're going to need a lot, so it's worth taking your time to get them. So anyway, let's grab this power star. Discovered a new ga galaxy, and a hungry Luma has appeared. Next to the Terrence. Terrace. Ter Terrence, I did it again. Oh my goodness. But anyway, that is it for this episode, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.